Hello, John from Peter Tyson. Everybody's getting all excited about the new Sonos Ace headphones. I like a bit of Sonos. I own a Sonos Beam. But before we get all excited, let's just calm down and consider another couple of options. As always, links to all prices are in the description. Let's just crack on. If you're watching this, you probably already know that Sonos makes some awesome soundbars and connected home audio systems. The Sonos Ace is their first entry into the headphone market, and they're handsome looking things, nicely finished with a somewhat effective anti-fingerprint coating. They are slim and very, very comfortable. With custom 40mm drive units, 8 microphones for calls and excellent active noise cancellation. There's Dolby Atmos and high-res audio support with an appropriate source, of course. Along with Bluetooth, you can cable up with the included USB-C and USB-C to jack cables. Fantastic battery life that's in line with rivals actual physical button controls that work really really well i like the little touches too for example the right ear cup is a different color to quickly identify which way round they go on your bonds the hinge is hidden internally so if you have long hair it can't get snagged when you take them off the included carry case is nice enough with its magnetic cable pouch it's made from recycled material which is nice it does however remind me a little of a 1990s car parcel shelf that's up to you whether that's a good or a bad thing. Their party piece that sort of ties them to the rest of the Sonos ecosystem is that they will partner with the Sonos soundbar. As I film this, the only one compatible is the Sonos Arc, but there are plans to move it to the wider soundbar range near in the future. That means if you're watching TV with your connected Sonos Arc soundbar, you can quickly use the app to change the sound output from the soundbar to the Sonos Ace headphones. The soundbar will mute and transmit spatial audio to the headphones so that you can enjoy the action without disturbing anyone else around you. However, they are not Wi-Fi headphones and you can only transmit from one soundbar to one pair of headphones at a time. They have a head tracking facility that can be toggled on and off in the app. So when you're watching a movie or gaming on your screen, it locks the sound in front of you on the screen where the action is happening. And as you turn your head, the sound stays in the same place. It's really effective while watching movies, TV or gaming. But when listening to music away from the screen, I found it a little nonsensical and it's best turned off. It was kind of irritating turning your head and having your music pan left to right for no reason at all. I've had them for a while, I've done a good mix of Bluetooth from my phone with Spotify or podcasts, USB-C on my laptop doing some editing, or some high-resolution music from Kobo's. They sound just fine. They're not awful. They're not amazing. They're just fine. I understand that sound is relative. What you listen to at home, what you are used to, your taste will dictate what you perceive as good sound. I only have my opinion, and that's what I can share with you. This is why I urge you to go and listen for yourself and try alternatives before you spend your hard-earned cash. You have to listen to your purchase, not me. To me, they sound absolutely brilliant with spoken words, with podcasts, and if you're using them to commute on public transport or even taking a flight with that fantastic noise cancellation and vocals come across really clearly. And you can wear them for a long time without getting uncomfortable, hot and sweaty. Even with glasses like I've got, they're just perfectly comfortable for long periods of time. Perfect commuter headphones. If all you care about is how loud things go and how much bass you can add to every single track that you listen to, you might just love the Sonos sound. If you're not that bothered about hi-fi and imaging and detail and all those other hi-fi cliches, there's nothing wrong with that. Fill your boots. You do what makes you happy. Generally, I found personally with just music listening, Regardless whether it was high-res on a cable or Bluetooth from Spotify, it just sounded really heavy and thick. The bass is heavy, and it's heavy to the point where it strips out a lot of the detail from your music. Knocking the head tracking and the loudness features off in the app did help a lot, and you can use the limited tone controls to just knock down that bass slider a couple of notches. 
that helped too. The ANC, as fantastic as it is in a noisy environment, also hindered the music performance to my ears anyway. And in a quiet environment, I found that the music sounded much better with the ANC turned off completely. That being said, the Sonos Link feature with the soundbar, especially with gaming and movies, does sound exceptional. The extra heavy bass actually lends itself to movie watching quite well. If you are, however, using them for mainly music listening, there are some better options, in my opinion. Case in point, the Beoplay H10 from Bang & Olufsen. Similar spec and battery life, 40mm drivers with neodymium magnets, ANC with six microphones, but slightly nicer build with aluminium and leather details. Just a small thing, they sit the right way around your neck, whereas the Sonos face out, which is a little odd. They are IP53 ingress rated, so they're perfect for tackling the gym or being caught out on a wet day. Although perhaps not as loud and dynamic as the Sonos, the sound is much cleaner and more natural. If you prefer a more bass heavy sound, the Biosonic tuning in the BNO app lets you dial the sound exactly how you like it. You shouldn't play it too loud anyway, you only get one set of ears, look after them. Comfort is personal. I'm not a small chap at 6 foot 4 and I have a big noggin to match. I found the least comfortable here on test, but you might appreciate the smaller ear cups. Although they're marketed as over ear headphones, they feel more like an on ear to me. The ANC is good, but not quite as good as the Sonos. And the call quality is acceptable. B and O are as much as a fashion brand as they are an audio company, so maybe you just like that kudos of having the B and O logo slapped on your ear. I can't out and out recommend either of these headphones without at least mentioning the excellent Bowers & Wilkins PX8, if you can just push your budget that little bit further. Similar specs again, amazing battery life in line with the others, ANC and six microphones. 40mm angled carbon cone drive units and super premium feeling headphones, aluminium Nappa leather, memory foam and diamond cut detailing. I'll let you decide who makes them look better, me or Mr Beckham here. There is high res support as you'd expect with DSP for 24 bit audio, just like Bowser and Wilkins speakers. Even on Bluetooth through Spotify they sound engaging, exciting, tight, punchy and they're just an absolute joy to listen to. In my humble opinion, the Bowers & Wilkins knock spots off both the Sonos and the Bang & Olufsen. They offer detail from complex music and even relatively simple bass heavy dance tracks that are just plain missing when listening to the Sonos. They're comfier and more premium feeling than the Bang & Olufsen with better ANC. Treat them to high res streaming cabled into a laptop and they're just an absolute dream. Stunning clarity and insight, they're just outstanding. They are, however, the thickest here, so that might put some people off if you prefer a slimmer profile, especially when wearing them out in public. And like the Sonos, but unlike the B&O, they do not have an IP rating, so don't get them wet because you'll ruin your posh headphones. Noise cancelling is pretty close to the Sonos in terms of its effectiveness. The only thing that pushes it over for me is the fact that it doesn't hamper the sound quality quite like the Sonos does. Even with full ANC on, they sound engaging and detailed and just good to listen to. So in summary, if bass and volume rule all, you want to use that personal listening experience when linked to a soundbar, or you just want a comfy companion to take on long commutes for spoken word, then you'll love the Sonos Ace. If you want cleaner, more natural sound, a better app and better sound customization, or maybe just a bit of a fashion statement, or you just want something that's overhead for the gym or using primarily outside, then the Bang & Olsen H10 will do you proud. If you want the most premium feeling, long music sessions or critical listening, particularly with high resolution music, or maybe you just want a companion for working at home with office calls with a bit of high res music thrown in, 
or just the best clarity and the most real hi-fi sound, then the Bowers & Wilkins PX8 are very hard to beat. So that's it, I hope that helped, and I hope that threw in another couple of options that are worth considering. Go and try some things out for yourself. If you want to come here where I am, at Peter Tyson Carlisle, the number is on the screen if you want us to get anything unboxed and ready for you. Leave some comments, let others know what you think, and until then, you'll see me in the next video. Take care.